Hello, welcome to Ray Recommends. My name is Ray Manatribus. Today I'm in Burley Fisher, a bookshop that just opened up in February in Hackney. This is Sam. Hello. Hello, Sam. <laughs> um, I've regularly been coming into Burley Fisher. It's become uh, my go to bookshop. I come in and I see they have a section on women poets, they have a section on writers in translation, and those are the kind of things I look for in bookshops, I guess. I, because um, when I go and attend literature festivals, that's something that people are always talking about. Like, uh, I'm a writer in translation, uh, I write in these languages that my books aren't selling. I'm a poet, my books aren't selling. But you seem to have created that. Yeah, well I think, I think um, we opened at a time where, I mean, to deal first with writing and translation, that's is yeah. people that are, are just becoming more open to reading books in translation, I think, and kind of... Uh, yeah, and with the whole way the prizes are structured and stuff, kind of, those people have been looking to try and promote that kind of writing. There's, a good, there's some great presses who are focused solely on translated um, fiction and non-fiction, like and other stories and rest of So, um, yeah, but I think it's, it's really interesting, and but quite often people won't have heard about it, so that's yeah, something yeah. I wanted to, yeah give more space to, so that it's, it's uh, when people come into the shop it's, it's obvious that that's the focus. Just and in with poetry it's the same. And yeah, because in, in regards to poetry, um, you know, it's one of the first sections you see when you come into the shop. Is that something, because I know that it's something that struggles sales-wise. Yeah, I think, I think, I think poetry does need a bit more help yeah. than, um, than commercial fiction perhaps. Um, I think people just people just have uh, uh, slightly intimidated by picking up a book of poems sometimes. Um, so trying to create displays where you talk about the poetry that you've been reading, uh, I think is uh, people are more open to or, or want more guidance with the poetry than they would with fiction. Um, people are very good at reading covers when it comes to fiction and yeah. non-fiction. So. Um, that kind of level of communication doesn't exist quite so much in poetry, I don't think. Um, and what, what was the last, because I know you have recommendations up there, what was the last poetry book that you read and would recommend people to uh, The Alice Oswald collection yeah. I just read, it's really, really good. Um, I, I just read Kane, which is a pen in the margin book oh, by yeah. Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and what else have I been reading? I'm rereading Elizabeth Bishop. I really yeah. like Elizabeth Bishop. Of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, which is quite an obvious one, I suppose. And uh, the Riley collection as well. Yeah, um, Denise Riley. Yeah, it's really, really good. One thing that a lot of people have told me in like working in day jobs and stuff, and you ask someone that generic question of what is your dream, often I people say, oh, I'd love to just go somewhere and open a bookshop. Mm -hmm. What has been your journey, and how difficult is it to, to open a bookshop? Um, well, I was really fortunate to work for Jason Burley, who's yeah. um, my partner in, in the shop, yeah. uh, at his shop in, in Old Street. Um, well, and when I decided to, that I wanted to open one, it, it made, it kind of had a lot of, he has so much experience and that I w it would have been so much more difficult to do <laughs> on my own. Yeah. Um, and so, and it's been, it's more fun to be able to build something together. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's, Retail, just any retail is difficult in London. Yeah, the rent's yeah, yeah, yeah. high, and you have to kind of do more diverse things than you can't. I mean, that old cliche of a bookseller kind of like sitting listening to Radio 4 and <laughs> uh, shouting at people and throwing books across the room. It's, you, can't, you can't really behave like that anymore, I don't think. Um, so it's not necessarily. But, it, but it's, it's very rewarding, especially being able to kind of have a community bookshop and being a part of the small publishing community and getting to yeah. see what's going on. and yeah, that's been really exciting. I was saying before about how you have different uh, authors that come in and do readings. Uh, you work with, as you say, other smaller publishers and how that's become part of uh, community building. Is that yeah. part of the <clears throat> Burley Fisher ethos? Definitely, yeah, yeah. I mean, we want to be a general bookshop where you can buy anything but yeah. with a focus on small presses and just to kind of give those presses a bit more visibility. Um, uh, I think yeah, there's there's Tess Center a good example, the small Hackney Press, and we've done really well with one of their books uh, by Stephen Watts, um, who's a poet. Uh, it was it's actually a prose book, but <laughs> cool. yeah, uh, yeah, the, his poetry does well as well. Um, and it's just I think yeah, people like to come into a shop 
and see the books that were produced in that area yeah. by people who live in that area. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, it allows you to offer something which is slightly different to the algorithm black magic of Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. <coughs> so don't don't have to compete. don't go to Amazon. No. They don't no, pay their taxes. No, they're the bad guys. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> they are the Monsanto of literature. Yeah. I think it kind of it, it crushes diversity really, and it gives the illusion of choice when in fact. Um, you're just directed to the same things. Yeah, over and exactly. Over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone said to you, "Why do we need a bookshop? Um, why does literature matter in our current times? No one's reading. Um, nobody cares. We don't even need writers anymore. You should just give up and, you know, go push a minecart somewhere." Yeah. Why, what, what, what do you say to that? Just because just as, as a poet, and I know that you're a writer as well, yeah. uh, and I find that a lot of writers, it's something that they constantly have to defend. Yeah, no, I mean, that's a question I get asked on the day, why, why are you doing this? Um, I think, well, I mean, the, you can answer it from two, you can answer it, why is reading important? Yeah. Um, I think that it offers, well, in terms of fiction, I always kind of think about it in terms of fictional poetry. Um, it offers greater opportunity for empathy, empathy than um, most other things. And long form, long form pieces, whether that be fiction or non-fiction, are an antidote to um, the way that we read online. It's good to have both. I'm not saying that digital media is bad, yeah, but yeah. it's just uh, yeah, it's more access is better. Yeah, and in terms of book selling, I think that firstly it allows you uh, it's a resource for the community. Um, yeah. If you have people that care about what they're selling and um, will t take the time to, you know, learn about it in order to kind of encourage other people to get excited about those things too, yeah, I think that's that, that that's good, and I think that uh, it allows greater visibility for greater visibility for for, sm for small publishers. So there you go. Support your local bookshop. Support Burley Fisher. We are on Dulston Kingston Road. On Kingston Road, yeah. Thank you so much, Sam. Go to Burley Fisher. We recommend.